My dear friend and partner Gaius, I have terrible news. What's going on everybody? Wired here. I hope you're all having an excellent, wonderful day. And uh, I gotta bring you some news here, some distressing news about another uh, attack on a school that was luckily stopped. I've been a little iffy on this. I have a small YouTube channel, as anyone who's watching it knows. I only got about 4,000 subscribers. And uh, hey, shout out to all my 4,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you. But uh, I built this channel for my daughter, you know, doing Lilo and Stitch videos. That's her, like, love. She's been involved with that for, like, three years now, and she loves it. And I'm trying to branch out into different things. And something that has really gripped me lately is, well, one, this uh, whole trans issue. But two, just the violence in American society. But as I found out, you know, even being a small channel, even with only 4,000 subscribers, uh... I got copyright striked and flagged for speaking out against people like Dylan Mulvaney. And uh, that prevented me from speaking out against uh, the tragedy that happened in the Nashville shooting at that Christian school. But I honestly realize I don't really care about the monetization. I don't really care too much about, you know, making a profit off this YouTube channel. I kind of just want to say my piece about things that I think are wrong. And I think... You know, these mass shootings that happen in America, I wish I had an answer to it. I'm not smart enough to, but I wish I did. I think they're wrong whether you know, someone who commits it is gay, trans, straight, you know, male, female, you know, white, black, uh, Latino, Asian, whatever. You know, it's wrong. And I'm always going to speak out of it. I'm always going to say it's wrong. And I wish we had people in Congress who could come up with a solution uh, no matter what side of the extreme you're on, whether you want to put people with guns at every school, whether you want to disarm the public, I, I, I don't know what the answer is. I, I think both of those are very extreme things, but I think the more extreme thing is to let children or I mean, anyone just in society get obliterated by people who just want to do harm to others. And there's definitely an argument in that where I don't want to see anybody off themselves but if people are in that right in that frame of mind i guess you definitely don't have the right to do it to anybody else but anyway without with that little rant out of the way i felt i had to speak my piece on this because there's been a, a breaking uh manifesto reveals trans persons plan to carry out a uh, school um offing shooting and I wanted to just speak on this because uh, YouTube tried to silence me. They're trying to copyright strike me or somebody's trying to copyright strike me, take me off the platform, even with my little audience. But I wanted to say my piece on this because I think it's wrong. And I want to speak out about it. No matter if, you know, like I said, they're trans, gay, straight, whatever color, whatever gender, it doesn't matter to me. I, I just think this wrong. It's an epidemic that's happening. And as a parent, you know, I'm concerned. I, I sent my daughter to a public school. And I worry. And I'm sorry, if you made it through that rant, which was a long rant, let's get in the actual article here. Uh, from Colorado Springs, Colorado. The 18, 18 Judicial District Attorney's Office has charged a former student of District 20, 19-year-old William Whitworth, with attempted murder, or attempted offing. I should say offing, because I'm, um, I'm definitely going to get banned off YouTube. I guess I'll go on Rumble. For allegedly planning attacks on three Colorado Springs schools. Whitworth identifies as female and goes by Lily, official said. The arrest affidavit details the Elbert County Sheriff's Office was alerted to threats made by Whitworth of a school shooting. During initial contact, the suspect appeared to be under the influence and confirmed they had planned an attack. And I'm just going to say really quick, I think it's really terrible from YouTube that they can strike me and try to ban me off the platform for just saying words. But as we saw at the Nashville shooter, uh, people who uh, identify as a different gender, they get complete autonomy and they will be protected. And apparently their cry will be spoken out. And will they have justification? They ever, no, they don't. They have no justification. They have no rights. I don't care if you're straight, you're gay, you're trans. You don't have rights to take another human's life. No matter what the situation is, you don't have that right. But YouTube apparently feels differently, and I'm probably not going to be long for this platform. That's just the truth of it. The arrest affidavit details that the 
Elbert County Sheriff's Office was alerted to threats made by Whitworth of a school shooting. During initial contact, the suspect appeared to be under the influence and confirmed they had a planned attack. I already read that. I'm sorry. Whitworth identified Timberview Middle School as a main target in other churches. So this seems like not only an attack on children, but also an attack on uh, Christians, Catholicism. I, I, churches, I guess, could mean a lot of things. But, but probably Christianity. Deputies later found evidence at the suspect's home, including journals with lists of firearms and how to make them, a list of individuals to be offed, and information about improvised explosive stuff. Uh, KRDO reported, quote, According to the affidavit, investigators found the manifesto, a dry erase board with floor plans and a list of names in a notebook. Whitworth said the manifesto was four pages long and had schizophrenic rants on them. However, the affidavit states when deputies asked if she was schizophrenic, she replied, I hope not. Well, I am not a mental health um, clinician, so I'm not going to speak to the mental health of this uh, individual. But obviously, trying to off yourself and other people is not the way to deal with your mental health struggles. You should go in, talk to somebody, or talk to somebody you trust, somebody you know. You know, try to confide in the support system that you have. If you don't have that, then try to seek mental health through the state. There, there, there are other ways to do things than this. Nothing you do... Is gonna, nothing that could possibly happen is going to come of good from this. According to the affidavit, Whitworth was asked how much she knew about the school, and she stated too much. When asked what she meant by that, Whitworth stated, there's a page in my manifesto, there's a bunch of mass offings. On the dry erase board, investigators noted it looked like a labeled floor plan of a school with labels identifying the office, bathrooms, classrooms, and the different levels. So this person probably went to school there, or at least worked there. As an intricate knowledge of the school, I think it did say she, uh, she he went there. I'm not sure of the gender, uh, trans individual. So, According to the affidavit, one of the notebooks also had a list of various mass shootings, politicians, and entertainers with a commentary on each. Below is how the names were listed in the affidavit. Eric and Dylan, losers. I don't know what that's a reference to. Adam Lanza, that's a reference to the Sandy Hook uh, shooting in Connecticut. Too smart. Um, oh, I, okay. Israel Keys, degenerate. Lauren Southern, pathetic. Vosh, terrorist. Donald J. Trump, con, ma'am. Bad cops, useless garbage, Stockholm name, Liam Key. Whitworth faces charges of criminal attempt to commit murder in the first degree, interference with staff or students, menacing and criminal mischief, and is being held in the Albert County Jail. Whitworth's preliminary hearing is scheduled for May 5th, 2023, and bond is set at $750,000. No firearms or explosives were found on the suspect in the home during the arrest. All right, so I don't know how they actually came across this person or um, stop them, but I am very glad they did before um, that they made their intentions clear or they acted out their intentions. And I'm just going to say, listen, if you're unhappy, talk to a mental health uh, clinician. Go, go speak with somebody or talk with somebody you're close to, a support system, family members, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your family, your friends, mothers, fathers. You don't have the right to try to take other people out. I think it's sickening that this is a thing. This is a lot promoted from the mental health tr crisis with the um, whole, you know, LGBTQ trans thing, possibly, possibly. I'm not going to say all these people are sick in the head because I don't think they are. But I do think that the Biggest growing crisis in America is mental health and access to firearms. We don't have enough restrictions on it because we don't screen people for mental health. And you should never take out yourself and you should never take out anybody else. And I hope this person gets the help they need. Hopefully they can be rehabilitated. I'm 
Very thankful that this law enforcement department was on the ball. And nothing bad happened out of this. You wish you actually read more stories about like this, because, you know, just, what, a week and a half ago, the whole Nashville thing happened, and... Although not as bad as Uvalde, there were still uh, three faculty and three students who were, um, unfortunately passed away due to somebody's terrible actions. And it just needs to stop. Just get help. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you made it this far, because YouTube is trying to flag me down, take me down just for speaking out against this stuff, which I don't really understand. I'm a very small channel, but hey, they don't want anyone to criticize the LGBTQ trans community. There's now they're a protected class, and I, um, I don't identify, I'm not of that class, so... You'll probably catch me over on Rumble in a couple months because I'll be banned off this platform. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.